So within every single iPhone out there, there's probably every single owner that's had to recover some sort of deleted data on your iPhone. Now, this data can be a lot of different things. It can be phone contacts, it can be applications, it can be all sorts of different things, photos too. Now, the best thing I would recommend telling you is that if you ever made any sort of iCloud backup, you should be able to restore some sort of information from that backup onto your device one way or another. That is probably the easiest way to go ahead and recover your information, as well as just signing into your iCloud account. Now, first of all, if you're already on your settings application if on your iPhone, you can open it up. What you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and view your account info that's very at the, at the very top. If you see your account information, you see your username and everything, well, then you're probably going to be good to go. So tap on your name up here, and then you want to go ahead and make sure under iCloud, which is right here, you want to go ahead and make sure you have iCloud enabled. And if you have some storage stuff up here, like it shows you like some storage that's being taken up, that means you have some sort of information backed up on your device already, which is really important. So what you can always do is you should be able to see all this, all the photos and everything that you already have within your iCloud one right here. So what you can do is you can make your way into, let's say your photos application or your settings application or your phone messages, wherever you're at, and you should still be able to see that data here. So that is probably the first thing I'd recommend doing is going through, seeing if there's already any data that you already have there that may have already been backed up. And that's one thing you can do. Now, if you've ever made an iCloud backup, meaning you've backed up your specific data, what you can always do here is you can always click manage account storage. And if you've ever made any sort of full on backup, whether it's on this device or anything, it should be right here. And you should be able to go ahead and recover a backup in this case as well. So you can see I have a few backups here. I can always tap on these backups. I can always delete them if I need to, but you can see when this backup was made in 2023. So all I would have to do is reset the specific phone and I can recover that data by just, you know, during the install process, I can just click on the, you know, specific backup I have here. And I can restore from this backup. That is a very, very big thing to keep in mind. Now, also another thing for a majority of different applications you have out there, you should be able to see that a majority of these apps already have data backed up inside of them. For example, if I go into Snapchat, if I swipe up, I can basically see some of the photos and videos that I've already made within Snapchat. I didn't have to manually back these up, they're just saved into my account. So I really don't have to do anything here. I don't have to manually back anything up or restore anything. It's already saved into my account. So that's a big thing for a majority of applications out there, Snapchat, Instagram, whichever other apps you're using, you don't really even have to worry about things too much. You basically just have your account sitting there and you can just log back into your account and that's all you're going to have to do there too. Now, if you're trying to recover things like iMessages or whatever, like I mentioned, the big thing here is using those iCloud backups. Those iCloud backups are going to be able to you know, do you a huge favor. But even within iMessage, you also have the ability of recovering deleted messages now. So you can also just click on edit right up here and you can see show recently deleted messages right there. And what you can do is you can actually show the messages that you recently deleted. Those messages will be available right here. And you can just open them up and use them and check them out as you normally would, which is another really cool thing that you have the ability of doing. So that in and of itself is another really cool thing here. So you can always hop out of here and, you know, kind of further on in that direction if you really want to. Photos is the same exact way. If you want to recover some more photos, you can always click under here. You can always click recently deleted and you should be able to see the recently deleted photos or videos that you have here as well. So that's another way to recover some data. And like I said, those are kind of the main ways to do it as of now. If you have any other thoughts or questions though, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.